Okay. I haven't posted in two months. I've been really busy. Bought some new film cameras. Let's get into it. All right, so I picked up this camera, thrifted this camera for like 50 bucks. It's called a DeJour D1. Um, pretty cool camera. It's a 35 millimeter camera with a 50 millimeter 2.8 lens. Pretty cool. Uh, the cool thing about it is that you do have to crank twice to uh, wind the shutter before you take your shot. Uh, it's a really small fill camera. Um, again, you can't change the aperture. You can't change your shutter speed. Um, Nothing too fancy, but it was uh, something cool to add to the collection. Canon Sure Shot, AKA Canon Auto Boy. Really popular film camera in Japan back in the days. It's a point and shoot. It has autofocus. It uses zone focusing. Um, has a film, has a flash, my fault. <laughs> a 38 millimeter 2.8 fixed lens. Really, really uh, cool camera. I really enjoyed the point and shoot experience that I had with the X100V, and I kind of wanted that on film too. Uh, I put about four rolls through this that I have yet to develop. As soon as they're developed, coming your way. Canon FT. Yeah, really happy about this camera. Um, the best part about this camera is that it is 100% mechanical, which means it uses no batteries. Um, when you do put batteries in there, you're able to use the light meter. But if it's cold or if the battery fails you, you can still keep shooting. So I thought that was pretty cool because last year my Canon A1 failed me. And um, it was out of commission for like three months. So I didn't want to have that issue anymore. So I decided to go for a more mechanical body. Also, a friend of mine's uh, Marvin shoots without an internal light meter on his uh, Canon AE1. So kind of wanted to have that experience also. This guy, a Canon Optura 400. It's uh, basically I wanted to have a, a, a VHS experience, so to say. I wanted to be able to take, you know, those old school camcorder types of videos and even put them into some of the projects that I'm working with. So again, uh, this one wasn't thrifted. It was bought at Milburn Camera in Milburn, New Jersey. Um, I think by the time this video gets uploaded, uh, they will have changed locations. But um, really cool camera. Uses a battery. Uh, has its own type of cassette. So that should be fun trying to get <laughs> get the digital footage off from that. But again, really cool camera. Really uh, looking forward uh, to using that. Nikonos 5. Stupid excited to use this one. Um, it is an underwater film camera. Basically, um, the same type of camera that you would use above ground is the same type of camera that you can now use underwater. And this one does both, so it's considered amphibious. Um, what's really cool about this camera is that um, the viewfinder and the lens kind of work differently in the sense that uh, what you see here isn't necessarily what you see here. This is only used to, to see your shot, to frame it, but you use this to set your aperture and you use this to set your distance. And that is called zone focusing. Basically, um, setting your camera for the zone or the distance from which you're going to shoot. I guess that's the type of way you got to shoot when you're underwater. You don't have the luxury of viewing through the lens seeing as the camera has to stay waterproof. But really cool camera. Very, very, it's like, it's heavy. You can knock somebody out with this, John, but really excited to use this. Ektar H35. Um, Chris Chu made a video about this. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, brand new. This camera costs 50 bucks. It has point and shoot as point and shoot can be. It has a flash also, which is cool. It takes batteries, but it's a reusable disposable camera. It even still has that good old disposable camera crank on it. But um, it doesn't have any batteries yet. I haven't even used it. But really looking forward to, to using it. The really cool part about it is that it cuts your 35 millimeter frame into two. So it's you have your original shot, your original frame of your 35 millimeter film camera. It takes half of that. Then you crank it by, it takes another half. So you have twice as many photos as you can take. Plus it takes vertical shots this way, like holding your camera this way, 
it takes vertical shots that can be posted on stories and social media. So pretty cool camera, a reusable, disposable camera. A really cool camera that I'm really excited to use is the Yashica Matte 124G. Um, a friend of mine, Adrian Renee, has this camera. And the reason why I bought it was because I love the shots he was taking on it. Um, I didn't have a TLR, which stands for uh, Twins Lens Reflex Camera. And um, I really love the shots he was taking on it. So I figured, you know what, um, I'll get one too. Shoot. <laughs> Really, um, it's a really cool experience, and I, I love the fact that you're able to wind after you take the cam the, the shot, <laughs> so to say. Really cool. Um, it's not in the best condition. It still has some cleaning and some uh, tweaking, so to say, but it's fully functional and, and it works great. Uh, I love it, and I'm looking forward to bringing this camera back to life. This big boy right here a Graflex Crown Graphic. This is the camera that they used in like, I don't know, the 40s or the 50s. This was um, considered the press camera. If you were shooting for the press, you had one of these guys and the big uh, sabers on the side with that huge uh, bulb right there. And it's, it's been in a couple of movies. I've seen it in a couple of shows as well. Um, really nice antique vintage camera, uh, fully functional. Uh, I haven't used it yet also, but I have done some, um, repairs to it. I have fixed it up just a little bit. I have a little bit ways to go, but I'm really looking forward to after repairing it, putting a Polaroid back on this guy. I forgot what it was called uh, um putting a polaroid back onto this camera and being able to take polaroid shots large format in other words really having sharp high quality polaroid photos so cool camera graphics crown graphic really f looking forward to uh to, to using this guy and last but not least one of my favorite pickups so far is a Hasselblad 500CM. This is literally the camera, well, not the camera, but the brand and version of camera that they took on the moon. Um, this camera actually came with two lenses, a 50 millimeter F4 and a 150 millimeter F4. So um, I thought it was pretty cool because most of my film cameras, especially my higher end medium format film cameras came with that 50 millimeter prime lens. And this is my first wide lens on a uh, me medium format camera and also my first telephoto lens. So I think it was pretty cool that I was able to get it on a Hasselblad. Plus, um, I really wanted a six by six outside of the TLR that I mentioned before, a six by six camera that was, um, that was really cool. Um, I was able to get this from, actually, I shouldn't say who I was able to get this from because I don't think they want to be named in this video, but um, this camera is, uh, is really cool. The shutter is like loud though. So if you're trying to like get a shot um, like in the cut, yeah, this, this camera will, it's going to let everyone know you're here. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I haven't been posting for like the last two months. Uh, but I've been really busy uh, curating content and creating content so that when I do release, I have a steady stream and I'm really happy of what I am releasing. So thanks for sticking around. Thanks for your patience. And I will see you really soon.